volcanoes, earthquakes, and plate boundaries. Have you ever wondered why this thing exists? We will find out today. Let's start with a recall. Let's have question number one. The layer which is found between the crust and the core is the A. Mandel, B. Lithosphere, C. Mesosphere, D. Tectonic Plates. And the correct answer is letter D. Lithosphere. Are you ready with number two? Okay, let's have number two. The question is, what are the pieces of the Earth's crust called? Letter A, plates. B, rocks. C, puzzle pieces. D, continents. And the answer is, letter A. Let us have question number three. What is the plate boundaries that occur when two plates move together? Letter A. Convergent boundaries. Letter B. Divergent boundaries. Letter C. Transform boundaries. And the correct answer is letter A. Let us have the lesson proper. For today, you need to achieve the following objectives. Number one, for you to describe the distribution of active volcanoes and earthquakes on the lithosphere. Number two, understand how the movement of Earth's plates create volcanic activity and earthquakes. And number three, understand how plate movements has changed Earth's landforms over time. The lithosphere is made up of Earth's outermost layer, the crust, and the upper portion of the mantle. It is the part of the land that is moving on the Earth's surface. Theory of plate tectonics is the idea that the Earth's crust and upper mantle are broken into section called plates that move around on the mantle. Some of these plates are used and cover entire continents. Most of the earth is covered by seven major plates and another eight or so minor plates. Let's start with the seven major plates, which includes South American plates, African plate, Eurasian plate, Australian plate, North American plate, Pacific plate, and Antarctic plate. Let us have now the minor plates, which include Filipino plate, Juan de Fuca plate, Cocos plate, Nazca plate, Caribbean plate, Scotia plate, 
Arabian play and Indian play. Lithosphere is the part of the earth that is moving. The movement of tectonic plates is most evident at the boundaries between plates. Below this layer is the stenosphere, which is the upper portion of Earth's mantle. In the mantle occurs convection current. Convection current is the driving force of plate tectonics in which hot plastic-like material from the mantle rises to the lithosphere moves horizontally, cools, and sinks back to the mantle. The convection current provides enough energy to move the plates in the lithosphere. We have here the schematic cross-section of plate tectonics. As you have learned, plate tectonics is the movement of the Earth's crust. There are three types of plate boundaries, convergent boundaries, divergent boundaries, and transform plate boundaries. Landforms are produced by the movement of plates. Convergent boundaries result in the formation of mountains, volcanoes, and trenches, while divergent boundaries results in the formation of reef valleys and mid-ocean reefs, while fault is formed by transform plate boundaries, and so with the earthquakes. Seafloor spreading, subduction zone, and hot spots can all result in the development of volcanoes. Subduction is a geological process that takes place at convergent boundaries of tectonic plates. Where one plate moves under another and is forced to sink due to high gravitational potential energy into the mantle due to the heat caused by it rubbing against the other plate as well as the natural heat of the mantle. The plates melt and turns into magma. The area where subduction occurs is also known as the subduction zone. The oceanic crust, since it is denser, tends to subduct under continental crust. Volcanic activity can be a result of plate tectonics, the movement of huge slabs of Earth's crust. It frequently occurs on the boundaries of tectonic plates as the pressure within the magma below rise up and explode or escape to the surface. But not all volcanoes are formed near the plate boundaries. There is what we call Hot spot. A hot spot is a location on the Earth's surface that has experienced active volcanism for a long period of time. What are hot spot volcanoes? A volcanic hot spot is the area in the mantle from which heat rises as the thermal plume from deep in the Earth. High heat and low pressure at the base of the lithosphere facilitates molting of the rock. This melt 
cold magma rises through cracks and erupts to form volcanoes. An example is Hawaiian Island Chain, Iceland, and Yellowstone Hotspot. This map shows that volcanoes and mountains tend to occur near the lake boundaries. We have here Ring of Fire. It is a string of volcanoes that runs around the edge of the Pacific Ocean. It is a string of 452 volcanoes that stretches from the southern tip of South America up along the coast of North America and down through Japan and New Zealand. Land tectonics also result in the formation of earthquakes. Earthquakes may also occur in volcanic regions and are caused there by both tectonic faults and by the movement of magma within the volcano. Such earthquakes can be an early warning result of volcanic eruption. We have here some of the effect of earthquakes. Also we have the distribution of earthquake around the globe and the map showing earthquake. Moving and sleeping along an earthquake is the result of a sudden release of energy in the crust that creates seismic wave. Seismic waves are the waves of energy cause the breaking of rock during an earthquake. The main two types of waves are body waves and surface waves. Body waves occur in two types, primary waves which is represented by letter P and secondary waves which is represented by letter S. P waves are also known as compressional waves because of the pushing and pulling they do. The second type of body wave is the S wave or secondary wave, which is the second wave you feel in an earthquake. An S wave is slower than a P wave and can only move through solid rock, not through any liquid medium. So we have here the focus. It is where the earthquake begins. Then the epicenter, it is the point on the ground directly above the focus. And then the fault, which is a weak point in the tectonic plate where pressure within the crust is released. To check your understanding, let's have some practice exercises. Okay, for letter A, you are asked to study the map below and answer the questions that follow. So we have here a map showing the location of some mountains and volcanoes. So the question number one is, where can we find most of the volcanoes? The answer is near the plate boundaries. Let's have question number two. What causes this pattern? The answer is the movement of plates. Let's have letter B. The map below shows the distribution of earthquakes. Fill in the blanks. Earthquakes 
often occur in blank and are caused there by both blank and the movement of magma in volcanoes. Each plate is blank relative to each other, causing geologic events to happen along the boundaries. You have 30 seconds to answer. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is earthquakes of often occur in volcanic regions and are caused there by both tectonic faults and the movement of magma in volcanoes. Its plate is slowly moving relative to each other, causing geologic events to happen along their boundaries. Okay, did you get it right? So these are the references. Thank you and God bless.